Hello, my melancholic marionettes, and welcome to Saturday's Creepy Pasta Uploads. Enjoy. Marshmallows. The clock struck eight, and I knew it was time for my favourite treat a mug of hot cocoa. It was a nightly ritual that had started since I was three years old. I always had a hot cocoa at exactly eight and I'd have a marshmallow or two with it. That night, however, everything changed. I made my hot cocoa and searched the cupboards for my bag of marshmallows only to find it empty. My heart began to race. I broke into a sweat. No marshmallows? No, it, it wasn't possible. It couldn't be. I, I always had marshmallows with my hot cocoa. I started to rummage around the cupboards, tossing aside boxes and cans. Maybe there were marshmallows somewhere I'd forgotten. Yet, the more I searched, the more I felt myself panicking. I started tossing more cans and boxes to the floor. As I emptied the cupboards, no marshmallows in sight. I started to search the shelves, throwing away forks and knives as I kept searching. Nothing. Soon the floor was littered with cans, boxes and cutlery. Yet there was still no sign of any marshmallows. I clutched my hands into fists and began to cry. This was terrible. I then got an idea. The fridge. Maybe there were marshmallows in there. Yes, I, I had to try. I couldn't live with myself otherwise. I opened the fridge with great speed and started to toss away all the useless food that was stacked inside. No sign of any marshmallows. This was starting to cause me to get dizzy with stress. I threw the contents of the fridge across the floor until I found myself staring into emptiness. I broke down. No marshmallows. I couldn't believe it. I looked over to the counter and saw my hot cocoa. It was getting cold. Yet I couldn't drink it without marshmallows. I was shaking all over. Then it came to me in an instant. I knew a place I had marshmallows. I looked down and patted my belly. Yes, there must be marshmallows in there. Like a cookie jar, I mean. I, I had just drunk hot cocoa the previous night and the marshmallows must still be in there, somewhere. I started to chuckle despite my tears and went on all fours. Scrambling across the floor, I found what I was looking for, a large kitchen knife. Yes, this would do nicely. I started to shiver as I looked at that knife and sat down starting to edge towards my stomach. I was so happy. Soon, I'd get my marshmallows and this nightmare would be over. I couldn't help grinning some more. Then just as I was about to press the knife into my stomach, the kitchen door opened and my roommate entered, carrying bags. For some reason, he dropped them in shock, looking at me as if I was crazy. I just stared back until I saw the small bag of marshmallows fall out of one of the bags. I dropped the kitchen knife and got to my feet. As my friend started yelling something, I couldn't make out his words. It was all a blur to me. My friend ran out of the room. I could hear him in the other room calling someone. I didn't really care. My focus was on the little bag of marshmallows. Smiling contently, I picked them up and started to head back to the counter. My friend kept shouting in the other room. Something must have spooked him, I guess. I just opened the bag of marshmallows and put them in the hot cocoa and took a sip. Yes, I do like marshmallows. And this is Simply Melancholy, signing off. Thanks for listening, and remember, you are not alone. There's someone right behind you.